this one kakiwi hello guys welcome back to my channel my good name is israel kagiri and today i bring you some relationship nuggets we are going to talk about different ways in which you can stay away from fornication mm -hmm. but you need to know what is fornication is fornication is sexual intercourse between two people who are not married to each other when i mean two people i mean a man and a woman so that we make sure we are on the same page but you need to know also the Bible says in the book of First Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 3 that for this is the will of God that you stay away from fornication. For, so it is not good for you to sleep with a man or to sleep with that woman and you're not married to each other. That is a sin. Mm -hmm. But before I'm going to share with you these five ways in which you can stay away from fornication, how about you subscribe to my YouTube channel and you click the notification bell so that we'll be able to update you whenever we post a video. Now, these are the five ways in which you can stay away from fornication. Number one, consume clean content. This now includes the books you read, the films that you watch, and the music that you listen to. These things, they are going to influence you, maybe to go into fornication, to go into ways that they are not godly. So you need to consume clean content. As the Bible says, the book of Philippians chapter 4 from verses 8, whatever things are true, whatever things are pure, whatever things are of praise report, meditate on the good things because the bad things, they are going to influence you to go the other way, which is not good. So make sure you watch the clean content. Don't even the social in social media, the things that you browse with the website that you watch, you know, the pictures, you know, you need to make sure that you put a restriction so that you don't you will not be tempted to fornicate or maybe to go to that next level of you know going in the wrong way. Number two, marry early or marry young. If you know that you're not strong enough to contain this last <laughs> of the of the flesh all you have to do is to marry ali it is not sin to marry ali the bible says you enjoy the wife of your youth because of these things you need to have your own wife have your own husband so that your ways with god is going to be straight so that we not compromise the beauty of sexuality number three choose the right friends there's a saying that goes bad company corrupts good Moral. So if you have bad friends that are going to influence you to go into fornication and to do things that are not godly and to do things that are not good for you and your future. So you need to choose the right friends. Who are you hanging around with? If that friend is because they are going to influence you to peer pressure and for you to indulge into fornication. So you need to check the friends that you work with. If they are not good for you, then you need to cut that relationship. Number four, live in a good environment. What am I talking about? The environment that you live has a particular atmosphere. Probably you're staying around, uh, maybe you're surrounded with the bars, brothel, and all this kind of stuff that can influence you to indulge in fornication. So you need to check on this place. If you're living in that particular place, you need to vacate because that is will not be good for you if you want to please God, if you want to walk right. So you need to check the place that where you live in. Is it a good environment? Just like the way Sodom and Gomorrah, they had to leave that particular place. You also have to leave so that you make sure that you don't indulge. You're not tempted into fornication because maybe those guys, they're playing music, maybe your roommate, you know yourself. So all you need to do is take that step and move so that we will not be able to be tempted to go to that way which is not good which is fornication number five get busy there's a saying that goes an idle mind is a devil workshop so if you're not busy doing something constructive then you'll be influenced to indulge in things that are not good for you so if you're not busy maybe yeah, in, in doing your acts, maybe in go, going and to read or maybe to do something constructive about, about your destiny about your life then you'll be tempted to indulge into fornication and all these kind of stuff. So you need to make sure yourself you're busy so that you'll not have time to think about things that are not good for you. So get busy and do something constructive. So those are the five different ways in which you can stay away from fornication. Remember, if you have any more, all you have to do is to suggest on the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and you click the notification bell so that we'll be able to update you whenever we post a video. See you next time. God bless.
you. 